first what I like to do is apply this Sally Hansen um, nail hardener base coat and I just apply one thin coat of that and then on top of that I like to apply another thin coat of the Sally Hansen hard as wraps acrylic what is it it says powerful acrylic gel and these two together have really transformed my nails so I highly recommend them so like I said we're gonna be recreating these leopard print nails so I have three colors here which are our main colors the first one is this really beautiful like high shine um, gold and I like the way the gold contrasts with the brown and um, a real leopard print would have a tan or you know something light brown but realistically on your nails it's not going to show up so uh, I think a nice bright gold looks best and then a nice deep brown color and make sure you get something that's really really brown nothing that's um too red you want to make sure that it's really nice and and brown so this is a little bit red but it's very brown and it's also the same formula as the gold and then here i have something that's similar to a miji nail arts pen it has the two uses it has the pen side and then when you twist open the cap it has the regular um uh, script pen and this I just got at the beauty supply store this is from nail star so first you want to just apply your gold and you can apply as many coats of this as you want I find that one coat works fine now that your gold has dried a little bit um, it doesn't have to be completely dry but just dry enough so that when you apply the brown, it doesn't kind of um, transfer the gold polish. So I'm going to take my brown. And um, you can take a dotting tool. You can take a toothpick. You can take um, an old um, makeup brush. And um, you can also use a bobby pin. And I just happen to have this here. So I'm just going to bend it. That way we get the edges kind of bent out and then you can use the end of the bobby pin as a dotting tool. And usually I just use the actual brush. I find that this helps the look be a little bit more realistic because most people will tell you to make little circles and make little C shapes. But I find that that does not look realistic at all. I like the randomness of the of a real leopard print and you can see how my shapes are extremely some of them are long some of them are just black spots some of them just have a, a, a wiggly line kind of imagine yourself when you are trying to let's say you're trying to draw what the earth looks like and you're trying to draw the the, the, the countries and the oceans you kind of make these weird squiggly lines to represent the countries and stuff they're bumpy things like that think of your leopard print shape like that instead of circular shapes because a real leopard or cheetah print does not really have some circular perfect shapes so I'm going to take my brown and just get a little bit on the brush. I'm going to begin to just make these little random shapes. So I'm going to make a long one. Then I'm going to make one across, one down here, one over to the side. And make sure they look as random as possible. So don't um, make any that are parallel to each other don't make any that are completely um, next to each other you want to make sure that they're um, some are vertical some are horizontal just different shapes so don't soak your brush in polish and then I have this nail done, but it has to be kind of refreshed. And I will show you how to refresh, quote unquote, so your nail. Now you're going to let that dry for about a minute as well. Keep in mind that the polishes I'm using is this um, NK brand. This is this, these. 
<laughs> this is like a beauty supply store brand they're like i don't even know maybe a dollar or two and i love this formula um they dry really fast and they're great for nail designs because they just seem to last and um yeah I, i've used these since i've been doing my own leopard print so i really recommend this brand so now i'm going to show you how to make the actual leopard print come alive so i'm taking my pen and I'm going to lightly start to trace my shapes. And when I trace them, I don't trace them perfectly. I like to add a little bit of character. So I'll make it squiggly and I'll also change the shape of it. You also want to make sure that you keep some of the shapes open and also... Um, to make it more realistic, add some random squiggly shapes of black just around the tips of your nails or the areas that don't have any color. So as you can see, this one's long. So I'm just going to go around it and make it a little bit more bumpy, a little bit more angular to give it a little bit more character. And then I'm also going to add like black right here. And I'm going to add some black at the tip here. And maybe some black over here where there's no polish. And when you make mistakes, don't worry about it. You can always go in with a little bit of a Q-tip and some acetone. So just continue with that random pattern. And the best part about this look is that the more messy it is, the better it looks. The more realistic it looks and it's something that when you start practicing you will see how much easier it becomes and you'll want to do it all the time I also love this look because um, when you master it it takes about 10 minutes to do and to dry I mean re that's relative to the polish you're using but I know with these polishes that I use it takes about uh, like five minutes for it to dry and then I can apply my top coat so there you have it you see how quick that was and that's because I am so used to doing this design so then you're just gonna let that dry for however long your design needs to dry for you do not want to apply top coat when it's still wet you will have a mess so now I'm going to show you how to refresh one of your nails, which I just did to all of these. So you can see that it's starting to chip around the edges. It's a little bit dull. So I'm going to take my gold and I'm going to add some gold to the edges of my nail to refresh that color, bring it back to life. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of the black and kind of go along these edges that got lost and started to fade just to bring it alive again. You know what I mean? Now starting to look more animated again. A little bit more awake <laughs> and then once it dries you can just apply top coat and you'll have your nails done so this is the finished look and I will talk to you in my, my next video I hope you guys enjoy this